The latest version of Aussie Render Premium includes support for MP4 and MOV files. This means you can go straight from creating a video in some other software and bring that into Aussie Render to turn it into audio and visualize it on an oscilloscope. I've got an example here, so if I open this up and drag this onto here, um, it will usually take a few seconds to um, load and open up. Um, and then once it's loaded, you'll get some uh, settings at the bottom here that you can mess around with. Um, so it's not, it's not looking perfect at the moment. Um, but what I can do is uh, a few different things. So there's lots of stuff to play around with here. I've got a, a great video that goes in depth on some of these uh, different parameters. Um, but also, uh, particularly if you're on Mac, um, you can change uh, your audio device to something like a virtual audio device, such as Black Hole. Um, this lets you go really, really high sample rate and get some really good quality images out of it. So I've already gone to very, very high sample rates here. Um, usually on a normal audio interface, it might go as high as like 192 and you can see that the quality starts to decrease there. Um, on much simpler ones, it'll be as low as 44 kilohertz. So that really starts to harm the image. So going into audio settings and increasing your sample rate can really uh, help make things look great. The next thing is changing the image threshold. If I lower this a bit, you can start to see that more of the image gets drawn in. Um, so uh, if I increase this, it starts to only get some of the highlights. So kind of finding the perfect balance here is important. Um, the next bit, image stride, if I decrease this a bit, it um, will draw more of the image in terms of, um, it will draw like individual pixels more but it will take longer to draw, so it might not get the entire image in. If I increase this a bit, you can see the entire image a bit more, but it might be a bit more fuzzy. Um, so this is probably a good balance here. Um, another cool thing you can do is change where you are on the timeline. So say I like a particular part of it. I think this is probably quite an interesting bit if I like pause that and go here. That's quite a cool one. Um, what you can do is if you open up the visualizer settings, you can turn the persistence all the way up, which first of all is going to make it really bright, but then turn the intensity all the way down. You could kind of like reset that by doing this, uh, increase that just slightly. And what that's going to do is give it a lot more time to draw out the image. This works really well for still images, but if it's moving, it won't work so well. So if I turn down the uh, threshold, so it gets more of the image, turn down the stride to make it really high quality and then I could even increase the range of this to say 10 and just get it to save even longer um, and there you go you start to get a really really good high quality image um, quite quickly so yeah once you have an image that you like the look of you can obviously use all of the same audio effects from before so say I wanted to do a ripple effect on this you can do that um, you can also do like obviously the combined different effects and start to get something that looks really cool. Um, I think what works really well for, for videos is this swirl effect um, combined with some of the others. Um, you could also do a swirl combined with rotating around this axis but changing this to a square wave and it will start to like flip between the two if I change this ranged from zero to one. There we go. So now we start to get two images at once, which looks really cool. Um, I'm going to just start moving this around, maybe. There we go. And maybe I'll change the scale a bit. Where's the scale? If I change the scale here a bit, I might do that even afterwards. There we go. So now this is going to sort of do what I want. Then lastly, you can do a swirl effect on either the whole thing after the fact or move that beforehand and do swirls on both images independently. So yeah, you can do some really, really cool things with some of the audio effects um, in conjunction with a new video playback feature. So um, I hope you found that interesting and I hope you enjoy the new version of Osirena Premium and thanks for watching.